Welcome to Expat Hydroponics. In this video I will discuss the 7 major different types of hydroponic systems. There are 7 major different types of hydroponic systems, each with its own unique set of advantages and disadvantages. In this video, we will explore the different types of hydroponic systems and how they work, as well as their advantages and disadvantages. One of the most common types of hydroponic systems is the nutrient film technique, NFT. In an NFT system, a thin film of nutrient-rich water is circulated over the roots of the plants, which are supported by sloping troughs. The water is circulated continuously and is replenished as needed to ensure that the plants receive an optimal amount of nutrients. The advantage of an NFT system is that it is relatively simple to set up and maintain. However, the system is highly susceptible to problems if the water film is not circulated properly, as the plants may not receive enough nutrients or may become overwatered. See my video that is titled, Our DIY Greenhouse. To see all the mistakes I made with my first NFT system. Another popular hydroponic system is the Deep Water Culture DWC, system. In a DWC system, the plants are suspended in a nutrient rich water solution and an air stone is used to provide oxygen to the roots. The water is circulated continuously to ensure that the plants receive the necessary nutrients and oxygen. The advantage of a DWC system is that it can be very productive as the plants are able to grow quickly due to the optimal conditions provided. However, the system requires a constant power supply to run the air stone and or the pump, and if the power goes out, the plants may not receive enough oxygen and could be damaged or killed. For a fast-maturing plant like lettuce, oxygen in the water is not as critical and many in the Philippines forego the air stone and pump to save on cost. The aeroponic system is another type of hydroponic system that uses a nutrient-rich water solution to nourish the plants. However, instead of using an air stone to provide oxygen, the plants are suspended in the air and the water solution is misted onto the roots. The advantage of an aeroponic system is that it can be very efficient, as the misting of the water solution allows for a high rate of nutrient absorption by the plants. However, the system can be expensive to set up and maintain and if the water solution is not misted properly, the plants may not receive enough nutrients or may become overwatered. Vertical towers are a hybrid of the aeroponic system that solves the problem of clogged spray nozzles. The drip system is a type of hydroponic system that uses a nutrient-rich water solution that is delivered to the plants through a series of tubes and emitters. The water is delivered to the plants in a controlled manner, ensuring that they receive the necessary nutrients and hydration. The advantage of a drip system is that it is relatively simple to set up and maintain, and it is also very efficient in terms of water usage. However, the system can be prone to problems if the emitters become clogged or if the water pressure is not consistent, which can lead to uneven watering of the plants. The ebb and flow system, also known as the flood and drain system, is a type of hydroponic system that uses a nutrient-rich water solution that is periodically flooded into the growing area and then drain back out. The advantage of an ebb and flow system is that it is relatively simple to set up and maintain, and it is also very efficient in terms of water usage. However, the system can be prone to problems if the timing of the flooding and draining is not consistent, which can lead to uneven watering of the plants. A hybrid that falls between the ebb and flow and drip system is the Dutch bucket system. It is more like a drip system on timers. A good example is the MHP Gardener channel. Click here to see his videos. He is great and is the inspiration that got me into hydroponics. The last type of hydroponic systems is the wick system, which uses a wick to transport water and nutrients from a reservoir to the plants. This system is relatively simple and inexpensive to set up and maintain, but is much less efficient and productive than some of the other hydroponic systems. In conclusion, there are several different types of hydroponic systems, each with its own unique set of advantages and disadvantages. The type of system that is right for you will depend on your specific needs and goals. 
It is important to carefully consider the pros and cons of each type of system before making a decision. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe.